So the original house, you can see the A-frame over the windows and the chimney on the right-hand side. We had a 10-foot by 10-foot ice house that was here, that was uh, built by the Machins. They would redirect water from the clean running Walney Creek, which comes out of a spring head right there at the back of the house, and they would let the water fill up this shallow pond. The archaeologist said he could spend his whole career here and not leave. There's so much to investigate and look at. We came to Eleanor C. Lawrence Park so we could learn a little bit about the history of the park. John, who works here, shared information about some of the features of the park. And so we want these smaller native trees like, you know, hickory or some of the smaller um, oaks to start coming in. The community also had a chance to see the stewardship center that's being built. We were hoping it would be done by the end of the year and as anything during COVID it is getting delayed a little bit but that is going to be a great center and I'm happy the community could see the progress that we're making with that. And then the community saw it's an easy trail to walk. We have paved trails, they can get around easily and I think people had a fun time today. So this park is special to me because I can get to it walking from my neighborhood. So there's a trail that starts in my neighborhood, goes through the park, you can walk all the way over here to the mill. And so it's like a backyard park. I've seen a change in people, especially since COVID, wanting to get out, wanting to walk, getting the exercise. And there's something so relaxing about being in nature and seeing the colors change. So I think any time of year, it's great for people to get out into the parks, to walk around, and whenever we can do anything to publicize how easy it is and how accessible it is, I think that's an important part of my role as a supervisor to share that with the community.